Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue working with strings, namely we're going to figure out the substring function. This will probably be the last tutorial of just scripting and not really getting much real work done for a while. So it, it, I plan on starting GUIs, guys. Hope you're Hopefully you're excited about that. I'm not going to explain what GUIs are to anybody just yet, if you don't know. Um, but I will tell you it's something to be excited about. Now, enough about the future. Let's get back to the task at hand, and that is substring. So what is substring? Well, again, like last tutorial with Concate Nation, um... It's a common thing with strings in most every popular programming or scripting or any kind of language with computers. And it's the process, it's usually a function. Um, it's taking just a small section or maybe a large section of a string. So you don't have to use the whole string, you can just use a part of the string. And it's really useful for a lot of different things. Now there's a lot more strings can do than this tutorial will show you, but we'll get to that later on when we build more advanced scripts. And actually I take back working on GUI's next tutorial. Next tutorial will be a VIP door. Yeah. So we're going to go to script. As always, you guys are probably getting tired of me saying that. Especially if you're watching these tutorials all in succession without a break. It's probably getting annoying. But we're going to take out this string too. We're going to change this to hello world. And now for the fun part. Now, actually hold on. One thing I want to show you guys real quick is if we wanted to have a local hello world object and we wanted to have it equal to what we were printing we could put string string to what I'm saying here is when you concatenate things it returns that string gives you that string rather than just printing them all together so you can make a variable with concatenated strings anyway that's all I really wanted to show you there just to finish off last tutorial. So, here's the fun part. This, um, anyway. <clears throat> so, here's how you use substring ultimately you use string.sub, which calls the function. String.sub. We'll go over here and string that sub and then we'll change this all and now here string that sub is a built-in function into the string class and basically I'm just going to tell you you can call this at any time but you have to supply it at least two parameters you can supply it an additional third if you need to but here's what the first two parameters need to be the first needs to be the string you're substringing in this case it's string the second has to be your actual, or the second has to be what character do you want to start the string, substring at? Now, if you put one, it's just going to return the entire string because when you only have two parameters, you're specifying what character index to start at. And remember, indexes start at one in Lua. So you're going to specify what character index to start at. And if you don't supply the third parameter, which I'll get to that in a minute, it's just going to go all the way through the script, or all the way through the string after your start point. Now if you do supply the third parameter, the third parameter is how many characters after your start point and including your start point do you want. So, we just want to print hello right now. So, we're going to put five because if you look at hello, one, two, three, four, five. 
hello is five characters. It starts at one, so we'll put one comma five. Now if we reset everything again, because I haven't left the place since last tutorial, I'll click start and we'll get hello just like we wanted to. Now what if we wanted to print just the world part? Well, like I said, this is the starting point. This is where the substring returns, like this is the first character it's going to return. So we're going to actually count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is where W starts. So we'll put seven in this one play in where the one was we'll pause reset play and as you see we're getting nothing so the reason why I, the reason why is because the third parameter and um, I should have remembered this but other programming and scripting languages it's actually the way I was thinking um, you ha actually don't specify how many characters in Lua. I'm sorry, um, I was wrong. You actually specify to which character do you want to end the string at. Which, where do you want to stop? So, we know we want five characters including seven. So, we want to get to this world. So, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if you want to include the exclamation mark, which I do want to include it right now, you'll do that. If you wanted to just go up to the D though, it would be 11. Fail. 11. Uh, but we're going to go with 12. So we're going to press run. And we'll get world like we were expecting to get. Now there is only one more thing I want to show you and it's a combination of last tutorial and this tutorial. So we're going to actually piece together string dot sub string one six no one five sorry dot dot space dot dot and this is useless yes but you guys, I want you to guess right now. What's it going to be? You guessed it. Hello world. And like last like how I finished off last tutorial, you can have local hello we'll name our string hello string dot sub string 15 uh, and that will return hello, and now the hello variable is equal to the string hello, um, because that's it returns this string. It doesn't just print it. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I'll catch you guys later.